All right, so here's some materials that you'll need. You'll need to find your piece of paper that has a little tab folded that is going to be your scratch paper. However, if you don't want to use that because you might want to save it for later, or if you've used it up, you could use just any kind of paper. I'm just taking a piece of notebook paper. Um, and then you will need your good paper, like a final sheet of paper. You'll need a pair of scissors and you're going to need your pencil. Um, the cup, I will have for you a picture already taken of it. So here's what we want to do today. We want to draw our cup first and get that placed. And then later we are going to add some cross contour lines to it. So a really quick way to draw, this would be, um, we're gonna find the middle here in just a second. I'll, I'll kind of get you started, but we haven't drawn three dimensionally yet, or we haven't really talked about it. But when I look at something, sometimes it will change. This is a circle usually, but when you lay it flat like that, then it becomes an oval. So I, when I draw things, I usually use my whole arm and hand to start to get the feel of it and before I touch down and then once I get the feel for it, I might scratch out a few lines like that. Okay, then once we have that, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the sides. I'm looking at it, it starts straight down, but then you'll notice that it curves in. So I want to get it to curve in. I'm being very sketchy right now. We'll make it all come together here in the end. And then that's less than halfway. So halfway would be about right here. So if I think about that being half, and then I can take my fingers and figure, okay, I need to be down to here with the rest of it. Now, sometimes I'll even mark the middle to help me figure out where that stem goes. So I put the stem in. All right, we will do the bottom of it. Now, once again, we have to lay that circle down, turn it into an oval. I'm gonna figure out how far out I need to be first. It goes behind. I'm also looking at, okay, what lines up with what? And when I see this, the bottom of it almost comes out to where the top does. It's just shy of that. So, I'm gonna be about right in here somewhere. Okay. Now I find it's really difficult for me to figure out how to make it just perfect. So this is how I kind of do a good kind of cheating. I will fold my paper in half right up the middle of that. And I cut my shape out so that I have a pattern to trace or a template. All right, so now we have our pattern. I still need the other side so I can see where it ended it. I'll refine that line just a little bit more. All right. And there we have it. We have a nice shape. Okay, with that, take your good paper I want to do this more than one time because I want you to figure out many different ways of how you could do your cross contour lines. 
So the next step is laying it out on there, figuring it out. How can we fit it in there multiple times? So I might start with this first. Whatever is in the front is in your foreground and then you can put things behind it. So that's how we're gonna handle that. We're going to overlap them. So trace around your stuff. Hold it down tight so it doesn't move. You notice I have my hand spread out again on it. Draw lightly. In case like this, you have to erase, draw very lightly. Now, how do I get that on there? How would I transfer that on there? Let me show you a quick way. If I turn it over, I can see where my pencil line is on the other side, and I'm just going to scribble that. I'm pressing down kind of hard, and same way with down here, I want to be able to trace that. Now, when I flip it back over, I'm laying it down inside there. Line it up. When you trace over that line, you might have to press on just a little bit. It should transfer on there. It's like a piece of carbon paper. Okay, so I'll do the same thing down here. Okay, all right, next one. I want it to look like it's up further, but I wanna get the feeling that um, one is tipping over. So, and you can take it off the page. I am fine with that. So it's like somebody sat down a bunch of glasses and this doesn't have to make sense. This is a very abstract picture. That means you're taking something and you're changing the idea of it. You're exaggerating. Um, in some cases, you're simplifying. Might be changing the texture of it, the color of it. In this case, we're definitely gonna, we're going to change the texture of it. Okay, there's my next one, okay. I can go back and kind of fix that line a little bit later. Okay, and the last one, I'm going to I'm gonna fit that in there. I think I'll put it behind the other one. So as long as you fit three in there, you might not be able to fit the whole thing. And then I have to think what is in front of what. So if I wanted that to look like it's falling down in front of the other one, obviously I'd have to go back there and do a little bit of erasing. But in this case, I'm going to make it behind the other two. I'll have to be careful while I put that in there. Right. right, so the next step is figuring out how do I want to do those cross contour lines. How am I going to fill that cup? How do I want to show the three dimensionality of that? I don't want to change. I don't want to change the the part that it shows the form of it. I want to emphasize that part. So yes, the texture will look a little bit different because we're going to add lines that aren't there, but it's also to emphasize the shape, the the three dimensional shape of it. So for instance. I could take my pencil and I'm taking my time. I don't want to get in a hurry. And I want to make it look like 
it's getting more narrow, so I'm going to follow the outside of it. Maybe I'll stop with that line. Or I want to show that that's flat. Or the back side of this I'm following around. So it looks like you're going down into it. Let's try another, let's try another idea. Maybe I want to go the other direction with this. I can't just draw, I, I can't just go straight across or it won't feel like it's a round surface anymore. So the idea is to follow the surface of your object. And it could change it from there. Maybe I want to do a pattern and I want it to be smaller lines put together. And then I could go up here and even make some smaller bands. How are you going to make this more interesting? How can you change that? Or um, could you go different directions? Could I go over the top? All right, I think you get the idea from here. I've shown you a few different ways, so now it's your turn to figure out how you can follow the surface to make that three-dimensional part of it a little more exaggerated. Cross-contour lines, that's cross-contour lines for today.